the Iowa Anglo-Japanese Foundation. Uh, my name is Jason James. I'm just doing the sort of introductions and housekeeping. Um, so, uh, to start off with on the housekeeping side, if the fire alarm should go off, um, please don't <coughs> use the lift. You have to go down the stairs, down two flights of stairs, um, out the front door, and we should congregate on the park side of the street. It'll be freezing, probably, and windy. Um, but luckily, it hasn't gone off for a very long time. Um, and the second thing is, please don't leave any valuables in our cloakrooms, because nobody is monitoring them. So if you have, I'd pop down and just pick it up. Right, um, well, this evening, it's going to be slightly complicated. Um, so how shall I deal with this? I think I ought to start by introducing our speaker, Shinichi Miyagawa, um, who is a member of the very long established Miyagawa uh, family of ceramicists based in uh, Kyoto. And the family have been a leading uh, producer of ceramics there for over three centuries. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. I'm Shinichi Miyagawa, a ceramics artist from Makuzuyaki, Makuzu Potter in Kyoto. The theme of today's talk is tradition. Our family, our family home was built around 50 years ago. At that time, we included a tea ceremonies room in that era more and more people were interested in tea ceremonies. This is a big tea, tea room, uh, eight tatami, and this is a small tea room, uh, four and a half tatami. I will talk about the history of the Miyagawa family. When we first came to Kyoto, our business was restoring ceramics. It was, it was a very important job. At that time, ceramics were very expensive. So our business was big. About, about Kyoto ceramics. Kyoyaki, Kyoto ceramics, is a culture which was born in Kyoto, the 1,000 year old city. In the later Edo period, there were many, many potters in Kyoto producing ceramics and less demand, less demand, less, less demand for restoring them. So we changed our family business, creating ceramics, rather than fixing them. This tea bowl was made, made by Chozo, who founded Marcus Pottery. The grave of this bowl is made for sorrow ash, sorrow ash. This grain <coughs> is the traditional uh, food, uh, food feature of the Miyagawa family, Makuzu Yaki. The Makuzune was given to the family at, that time, at this time by the brother of the emperor. Makuzu, wa Makuzu was area in the east of Kyoto, called Higashiyama. Higashi is east, Yama is a mountain, Higashiyama, where the Miyagawa family still live and, lives and work. This is also store ash graze or <coughs> red clay. 
This clay is Shigaraki. Shigaraki clay from Shiga Prefecture. Typical ceramics made by the first Kosai are blue and white. Japanese say Sometsuke. He is my direct ancestor. Most of his ceramics were collected by, collected by Mr. David Hyatt King and stored in the National Gallery of Scotland. This was made by the first Koza, who is Chozo's song. It is a very decorative work. This is uh, installed, installed in the Toshiba Gallery in the V&A now. So please go to V&A Museum. <laughs> so this is a hawk, hawk and uh, Japanese ap apricot tree. After making decorative works, he made some feature in the, in the Art Nouveau style. This is made by the second Koza, uh, first Koza song. The culture of tea ceremonies became popular in the 1930s. He used the same stone ash gray, on white gray. In the past war era, this ceremonies was popular and practiced widely, and people like more opulent ceramics. This is a tea set my great grandfather created. My great grandfather. When Prince William visited Japan last April, this set was used to serve him tea. This is a water jar and a box for sweets made by my grandfather. So this is a sometsuke style, sometsuke technique. And uh, you could see, you can see uh, downstairs this style is uh, ball, yellow ball. This, this te technique. Now, I would like to talk about the challenges, challenges facing Makuzayaki. This, uh, this is a tea bowl which my father made which is now in the VND. He didn't use wheel to create this. He used the coiling, coiling technique. This is decorative, play, uh, de decorative porcelain plate, not used for tea ceremony. We created this lamp 
at the end of last year. So this goblet made by the uh, made by the first course between the creation of the lamp lamp uh, lamp on the light and this goblet. There is almost 200 years, but they share two things in common. One is the Sometsuke brand fight technique, and the other is that both were made targeting uh, targeting customers abroad so lastly i would like to talk about my work like every generation i feel that Responsibility, responsibility. Uh, I feel the responsibility of continuing Makuzo Yaki and allowing it to flourish in the spirit, uh, spirit of my grandfather, uh, Kosai Fifth. This, uh, this is my one and half about one and half years. A solar sugar is used for this ball. So, same solar sugar. This dart inside will start swimming when you make green tea inside the ball. <laughs> this was a motif of bread which is one of the, one of the, one of the uh, theme in my work. This is a contemporary work, but I use traditional solar ash glaze technique, which looks like a white cream or icing. This was made of this was made at the Rich Pottery in St. Ives, where I, start, I, stay, I, stayed, I stayed until yesterday. It was a challenge to create works in two and a half weeks, but some of them, some of them are displayed downstairs, so please have a look at them. I hope you enjoy my talk. I think tradition is not an obsolete thing. We can fully utilize our inherited techniques in an innovative way to match the needs of contemporary public. That is how our family, Miyagawa, was Maintain, uh, maintained its tradition by reading the need, needs of the time. Thank you very much.